How's it going? My name is Leo. I am a curated.com ski expert coming to you live from my home in Colorado, where I've been in the industry for over 10 years. And today I'm going to give you a quick comparison between two skis, the Blizzard Rustler 9 and the Solomon QST 92. We're going to dive into who this product and what this product is good for, who it's not good for and what it's not good for and how they're similar and different. So let's go ahead and start with the Blizzard Rustler 9. Who is this product good for? What is this ski good for? This ski is ideal for the intermediate to advanced skier who is looking to unlock more technical terrain in their skiing. When I say technical terrain, I mean moguls, I mean trees, I mean getting into those ungroomed areas that can feel really difficult to make turns in. The Blizzard Rustler 9 does that really well because it's got a lot of rocker in both the tip and the tail. That's the way it curves away from the snow. And the shape of that ski makes it really pivoty and fun to get through those tighter spaces easily without the ski feeling hung up behind you. It's got a partial sheet of metal underfoot, so that really helps it bite down and grip the snow, giving it a good carving capability so you can still really excel on the groomers. Um, so overall, it's a very versatile ski for an intermediate to advanced and even an expert skier on the East Coast who is going to open up more of those technical areas um, and give a really confident ski to get into harder things. This ski is going to find its limits in deep powder. Um, at 92 underfoot, it's fairly skinny. So up to about boot deep snow, it's going to do just fine. It's going to sail over it. It's going to surf right through it. But deeper than that, it's going to have trouble staying afloat. Beyond that, too, it's going to find its limits at fastest of fast speeds because it's got a lot of that rocker and tip and tail and a little bit more of a pivoty nature. There's going to come a point where if you point this downhill in a straight line, it's going to hit a speed limit where it wants to turn to stay in control. Let's jump over here to the Solomon QST 92. It's a really similar ski with just a little bit differences in shape and core material that set it apart. The current model of the Solomon QST 92 has a really quick turning radius, a good floaty shovel tip and tail. If you look at the picture here, you can see just how much, um, you know, taper and curve it has around the tip and that helps give it float. This ski has a carbon and flax core, so it's not a very heavy ski. It's got just a little bit of metal underfoot to give it a little more torsional rigidity. So when we are going fast and leaning into our carbs, it's going to feel really nice and stable underfoot. This ski is also really good for the intermediate to advanced skier who is looking to open up more technical terrain and have a lot of versatility. The biggest difference between between the two skis is the tail shape. The QST has a little less rocker in the tail, so it's a little bit more directional, meaning it's going to shine a little bit more on carves versus the Rustler, which is going to have a bit more of a playful back end, opening it up to a little bit more freestyle and personality. But overall, these skis are very, very similar. They're designed nearly for the same skier, that intermediate to advanced east to west skier who is looking to progress beyond the blues, get into the blacks, really get into more technical features like moguls and trees while still having confident groomer performance. Really, the difference is just in the details with that tail shape and that little bit of difference in the core. Which one's the best for you? That's a great question. It's going to depend a little bit on who you are as a skier and what your goals are. So if you want to dive into it more, hit us up right here on curated.com and we'd love to talk to you about it.